On a recent visit to New York City, I had the pleasure of spending some time with my friend Renee, who you all probably recognize as Owned by Femme, for a fun makeover. She has mostly type 3B color treated hair that she has not straightened in over four years, and she wanted something different than her signature wash and go for the holiday season. I am going to begin by cleansing her hair two times with Carol's Daughter Tui Hydrating Sulfate Free Shampoo. The blends of color safe moisturizing ingredients like soy, aloe leaf, rosemary, and nettle work to balance the hair while restoring shine and manageability. Next, I am going to apply the Tui Hydrating Hair Mask. This treatment is packed with penetrating and protecting oils and extracts like olive oil, shea butter, and sweet almond oil that help hydrate the hair and restore moisture. When hair is lifted several levels, it can be prone to dryness and breakage because the ammonia and permanent dyes can affect how the cuticle opens and closes around the hair shaft, ultimately affecting how it retains moisture. This mask is going to install moisture in the hair shaft and seal it in. It also has vitamin B5 and E for healthy growth and bariche oil, which is a fatty oil with lots of antioxidants that work to reduce frizz and protect from UV ray and free radical damage. I am using vinyl gloves to finger detangle for added slip and then my wide tooth comb to ensure there are no tangles. Then I will cover with a plastic cap and use my Thermal Hair Care Hot Head Deep Conditioning Cap for 20 minutes. After rinsing with cool water, I am going to prep the hair using my personal favorite trio for straightening. First, Aphigy Keratin and Green Tea Restructurizer. I love how this treatment has a blend of proteins, emollients, and antioxidants that work together to strengthen, soften, and smooth the cuticle. It also helps prevent breakage and protects against UV ray damage. Next, I am going to layer in a Veda Smooth Infusion Style Prep Smoother. This heat protecting serum has hydrolyzed protein for added strength, aloe for moisture, maize to add shine and protect color, and guar bean to help create a smooth surface on the cuticle and fight humidity after styling. What I love about this one is a little bit goes a long way. And the formula is designed to moisturize and protect with plant derived ingredients versus heavy oils so it won't weigh the hair down. And last, I am using Motion's Foaming Wrap Lotion to give a voluminous, flexible hold. I love foaming wrap lotions. They provide a smooth, weightless hold, and many are versatile enough for straightening or curly styling. This foam protects from heat damage, gives lots of body and shine with panthenol, and has collagen amino acids to allow the hair to stretch without breaking. After twisting sections of hair to keep it stretched as it dries, I am using my Hair Flare Hooded Dryer Attachment to get the hair mostly dry with all around heat circulation. I always like to dry some without manipulation so that the hair isn't being pulled too much in its most fragile state. I'm using the blow dryer on low speed, high heat for about 30 minutes. Now I am going to add Chi Deep Brilliant Silk Reflect Oil as a blow drying and flat ironing base. This is going to add another layer of protection while making the surface of the hair super silky and smooth. I am using my hands to hold the damp hair until it feels dry and then my Denman brush to fully stretch it. This method may seem like it takes longer, but there's really no difference in time and it allows me to stretch the hair without damaging it. Now I am going to do soft curls with my FHI 1 inch ceramic iron. I have the temp set at 425. You should use whatever temp you feel is best for you. I only want to make one pass per piece of hair, straighten and curl in one swoop, and the higher temp will allow me to do that. Also, I've layered in three products with heat protecting properties, so I'm confident the hair is properly covered. The complementary ingredients in the foundation products mixed with the setting products and the method have set these curls up to be properly moisturized, full of body, super shiny and soft, and incredibly smooth. Making spirals requires wrapping the hair through the plates and gliding at the same time. It takes a firm grip and a lot of control to not have creases in the hair. It just takes practice. If you aren't quite getting the technique with your flat iron, try using a ceramic flat iron as those are easier to control. Or even start with a curling wand if the wrap and glide method is giving you too much trouble. Now that I am done with the curls, it's time for makeup. My friend Angela is a New York City professional makeup artist who works with MAC Cosmetics and has beat faces to the gods for off-Broadway musicals and TV shows. I want her to give Renee a soft, shimmery, smoky eye with a pop of color on the lip. And because she's the best, that's what we got. 
Now I am going to use a Beta Brilliant Emollient Finishing Gloss to separate and fluff. This formula has rice bran oil, which is packed with ferulic acid and esters that help promote healthy growth, and antioxidants and fatty acids that protect and moisturize. The formula is super glossy, yet very lightweight. Total style time was about 2 hours and 45 minutes with 30 minutes for makeup. Renee will retain her curls by pulling all the hair to the crown and securing in a few loose bantu knots and tying a silk or satin scarf around her head. There are so many ways to get versatility from not only your hair, but your wardrobe. So we created three looks from Renee's closet for the holiday season. For a festive yet chic look, Renee is wearing a gray mohair sweater with pearl detail on the arms, with wide leg multicolored paisley print pants and gray suede peep toe lace up booties. A basic black tank with a textured embellished skirt and a colorful patterned accessory with a few curls pinned back for height and drama give a look that can go from holiday party to date night effortlessly. Everyone loves a little black dress, and this one gives a sexy flair with a little shoulder and just the right amount of leg for an edgy yet classy after five look. Take a rake comb, move the part to the middle, and fluff the curls for a glamorous finish. Teamwork definitely made this dream work. A special thank you to Renee for lending her beautiful presence, and to Pete Monsanto for his killer photography skills, and Angela Sims for the flawless makeup. You can find info and links to everything used in this tutorial along with more about the team in the about section below or by visiting monoshair.com.